YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master Puppets, today joined by Jakob the Wolf Mulch. Today, looking at another of the beers that Jakob brought from Copenhagen, and why don't you tell us which one it is? Well, it's the Phantom Chocolat, which is brewed with, was it dandelions? No, no, cocoa powder. Cocoa powder and chili pepper. Yeah, in a saison. <laughs> yeah. They just talk about how they're a weird brewery on the label that oh, they yeah. brewed with dandelions and mushrooms. <laughs> Amongst other other things. Yeah, uh, this should be interesting. This is one of the beers from them I've heard is pretty good mm -hmm. and not just weird. Because <laughs> okay. we had some weird, we, uh, when you were gone, we had one called Boo, which was made with pumpkins and weird spices, and it was just the weirdest Phantom beer I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, this should be interesting. And as all Phantom beers, it's got both a cage or a cap and a cork, so let's get it cracked. We've got the Phantom Chocolate Port. I've got to mention, by the way, it's an eight percent, so quite a strong. Saison, yeah, piece of carp there. But it's a nice looking saison. It looks like a traditional saison. Yeah, maybe a little darker, but yeah, it, not like the the one uh, Phantom Black Ghost, the oh. one that was blackish. <laughs> um, but yeah, orangey, hazy, white head. Yep. Let's check out the aroma. Hmm. Smells more like a traditional saison than other Phantom yeah. uh, beers, and actually very mild. There is a hint of the cocoa powder, but I'm not smelling much actually. It's very faint. It's mostly a grassy, a hoppy, fruity esters, hay, stuff like that. It's not as funky and strange as any of the other ones. A little peach, you know. Yeah, pale stone fruit. Yeah. It's weird saying that about a Phantom beer. It smells normal. <laughs> it smells like it almost. Yeah. But maybe the flavor is different. It smells nice. Yeah. Let's try it and see yeah. how it is. Cheers. Cheers. The chili's there. This is funny. This is like traditional saison compared to yeah. any of the other beers they do. And there, but there's a chocolate in the after. Yeah, but it's not real chocolate. It's that cocoa powder type yeah, flavor. Yeah. It almost tastes like the stuff you use for cakes. Yeah, the sweet cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know if it's cocoa powder or cocoa nymphs they use in there. It just says cocoa. But I, the chili is there for sure. Yeah, I thought this up to be much stranger mm -hmm. than it actually is. I build it up to be this weird, strange, funky beer. But it's not. It's actually a nice, refreshing saison. Yeah. Um, with a chili kick and a slight hint of chocolate. But other flavors, again, very traditional. Oh, you want to try to see if the yeast makes a difference? Yeah, just see if it maybe might. there was a color difference or... It, had it has a woody cork taste. Mm. In the aftertaste. But other than that, a lot of hay in the aftertaste too. And yeah, burning any kind of... Yeah. And, and grassy, grassy yeah. and you talked about peachy pale stone fruit flavor. Yeah, in the yeah in the aroma anyway. But uh, there's a little in here as well. I think though, the more you sip on it, the more of the chili you get, and the more kind of grainy flavors I'm picking up. So well, sweet malt. It does have a slight tart feel to it. Yeah, yeah but but, but it's sour. Much. Yeah, no. Like a saison should be anyway. Yeah, it's like a classic Belgian saison, but with a slight twist. <laughs> Of a hint of chocolate and, and a chili. chili that builds a little, but it's not as much chili uh, as in like um, other chilies, like <laughs> puna poo and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, you can feel a slight tingling sensation and no trace of the eight percent. Oh all. no, it's actually very sessionable for an eight percent beer. Dangerously, yeah. I'm gonna go eighty. It's a nice beer. Uh, it's it's really good. It's if you like traditional saisons, you'd love this. And, but the one thing, we just seem like weird and odd and kind of freaked out almost, I guess. But that's because we expected a, something different, something yeah. weird and funky. But actually a, a really nice saison. And it's a little different with the kind of chocolatey chili flavor. And it's, as you said, straight up uh, saison type Belgian. Yeah, well, with the Mises and all yeah. the strange stuff going on. But it has a fruity peachy note to it that you would expect from some uh, bread and Mises types, Yeah, I think. But uh, eating wise, I'm gonna go straight up 80 as well. Um, nothing else to add other no. than I really do enjoy it, and don't get, don't put up your expectations for a funky weird saison. Yeah, or Phantom beer. But I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Yeah. Because maybe we just have a bottle that's underdeveloped, or maybe your taste buds are just. I don't think they're <laughs> fucked. Because <laughs> usually you can taste when I say uh, Phantom beer is weird. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Phantom chocolate. Do you have a favorite? I think my favorite was the one we had in Norway, the one with coffee, Ruby. You remember that one? No. It From had, too. Yeah, it had, it had a different label as well. I think they maybe I started to change the labels. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure, but that was really good. I can't remember. It's three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> so. um, 
Good stuff guys, um, as I said, definitely let us know what you think of it if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.